Whiplash here, welcome back to another tutorial from PH Studios. This is part of the XNA Basic training series that will cover vectors. And it's going to be a short tutorial because I will not cover every single detail about vectors, but I'll just only cover what they are, what do they look like when you try to write them down on paper to get an understanding for a program, and some cool tips that might help you in the long run for some types of games that you might want to create like a space shooter which is complete games number two alright so now let's look at a graphical view of a vector but first let's define a vector a vector is a quantity that can be broken down into components as you can see along this arrow we have a vector called V and we usually designate a vector with a arrow above it and that V is broken down into two components X and Y that is for a vector 2, a vector 3 we have X, Y, and Z so this is in a normal mathematic XY system let's look at it in the X and A system or more importantly the direct X system. So the positive x goes to the right like normal but the positive y goes down. So a positive vector with the positive x and positive y will follow along this arrow. It'll go down to the left or down to the right. Down to the left is negative x. So that's what a vector will look like when you try to graph it on paper. And you are welcome to look at this tutorial. I will not go over every single detail in here just to keep this video tutorial short. I will provide a link to this in the posting on my site or if you are watching this on YouTube it will be in the YouTube description just click the more link because it might not show up depending on what how much I add to the description and I go into all the math and how to graphically combine vectors and all that stuff and let's see if there's anything else I need to discuss dot product we'll go into that in a later tutorial cross product same thing fourth dimension yeah, you can read up about that. Alright, X and A. So I'm going to go into the coding, but this is just will give you a list of the important methods, not all, but the important methods available to the class and the object itself. Same with Vector30. Alright, so now let's go into the coding, and let's create a new project. XNA Game Studio 30.0, Windows Game 30.0, let's call it Vector Tutorial. And once that loads, we'll start beginning the vector. And while that loads, let's look at the uh, website. Go to the XNA Games 2 Space Shooter. I'll go to the main website and show you how to do that. You go to phstudios.com and on the far right you will see content list with the XNA Complete Games 2 Space Shooter. You click that and it will show you a video. Alright, I'm going to show you what you can do, what cool things you can do with a vector and its operations. Okay, that was a little too far. Okay. Pause it. Alright. So you see here we have two enemies and the player, which you control. The enemies just move towards you and fire towards you. So if we go back one forward one frame, you'll notice that this enemy is looking at the player looking at you and also firing at you and it will fire along that same angle 
whether you move your ship or not. So how do we calculate that? Well, we already know the ship's angle, so we don't need to worry about that. But, if you didn't, and this is how you get the ship's angle in the first place, we need to do some vector operations. I'm going to create a few vector 2 objects. The first will be an enemy position. The second, that's vector 2, will be player position. The third one will be bullet velocity. Alright. And let's add a bullet position as well. Alright. So we have a few vector twos. And your coding won't look like this. You will actually go into object-oriented programming and actually create an enemy object, a player object, and a bullet object. Okay. So let's initialize all these. But for the sake of the tutorial, we're just going to use a bunch of vector2 objects. So let's make an enemy position is equal to new vector2 and it will ask for a float value or a float x comma float y. Let's use that constructor to create our new vector2. And let's make our enemy position towards the top left of the screen. So it needs a small positive x and a small positive y. Alright, now a player position is equal to new vector2. Now this is going to be further down to the bottom right. So it needs a larger positive x and a larger positive y. Okay, so now we have a player position which is close to the top left of the game window. No, the enemy position is on the top left of the game window and the player position is towards the bottom right. So we want a bullet to fire from the enemy to the player in a straight line that will shoot towards the player. So in order to do that we need to do vector operations which will just create a vector. I removed the vector tutorial. It will create a vector between two other vectors. So that's kind of confusing, but I'll walk you through it. A bullet position needs to be equal to the enemy position because the enemy is going to fire it. And the bullet velocity oops, will need to be the enemy position, the player position minus the enemy position. Since the player is greater, has a greater x and a greater y, that needs to go first. So the player position dot x, I'm in the new vector2 constructor here, minus the enemy position dot x, comma, player position dot y, minus enemy position dot y. And that will create a vector between the enemy position and the player position. So now if we compile and run that, create a breakpoint by clicking on the left gray area, and then press F5, and it will break the program when we reach that line. 